Hello everyone, my name is Hashim and I am an assistant professor at the Department of Engineering and Applied Science at Thompson Rivers University. Today I will present a novel nonlinear stochastic observer for GPS denied navigation. The function of the stochastic observer successfully estimate orientation, position, and linear velocity of a vehicle along with the gravity vector. Today's outline includes abbreviation and preliminaries of the mass notation. Next, I will present the true navigation dynamics and the available measurements, followed by the navigation stochastic observer design. Next, we will look at the experimental results, and I will finish with a summary. In this presentation, I denotes inertial frame, P denotes body frame, R is the set of real numbers, R plus is the set of non-negative real numbers, R n by m is a set of real numbers with dimension n by m. This is a notation for equilibrium norm. SO3 is a special orthogonal group of order 3. SE3 is a special equilibrium group of order 3. And SE23 is the extended form of the special equilibrium group SE3. R belongs to SO3 denotes attitude of a vehicle or orientation of a vehicle where SO3 is a set of 3 by 3 matrices, where the matrix in this set, if it is multiplied by its transpose, it is equal to identity, and the determinant of a matrix in this set is equal to positive 1. SE23 is a set of 5 by 5 matrices, and it includes 3 components, R and P and V, where X is the navigation matrix, and the X, as I said before, it includes three components. R, which is the vehicle attitude. P, which is the vehicle position. And V, which is the vehicle's linear velocity. Now let's go to navigation dynamics and the measurements. To better understand the navigation problem, let's turn to the figure on the slide. The goal of the navigation problem is to obtain the vehicle's orientation, position, and linear velocity in the moving frame with respect to a fixed inertial frame. When solving the navigation problem, both the balls and balls include two components orientation of the vehicle and position of the vehicle, as well as linear velocity of the vehicle, all these three elements are assumed to be unknown. Navigation is a critical task in robotics and control applications. The navigation problem comes into view when absolute positioning systems such as global positioning systems or GPS are unavailable or unreliable. Examples of such applications include household cleaning devices, security surveillance, mine exploration, pipelines, location of missing terrestrial and underwater vehicles, reef monitoring, and there is so many applications. Now let's go to problem formulation. The true navigation dynamics of a rigid body traveling with the six degrees of freedom can be represented by the following equation, where the left portion denotes the detailed dynamics of the navigation problem, while the right portion is the compact form of the navigation problem, and it is represented in the matrix form of the dynamics. So here is the compact form, where R again denotes vehicle's attitude or vehicle's orientation, P denotes vehicle's position, and V denotes vehicle's linear velocity, A denotes acceleration vector, and G denotes gravity vector. Note that all red components, namely the navigation matrix, vehicle's attitude, position, and linear velocity are unknown. As such, the main objective of this work is to estimate the navigation matrix as accurately as possible, driving R hat to R, P hat to P, and V hat to V, where R hat is the attitude estimate, P hat is the position estimate, and V hat is the linear velocity estimate. Fortunately, the unknown navigation components can be obtained through a set of sensor measurements. An inertial measurement unit can supply the measurements of angular velocity 
which is normally measured by a gyroscope and the acceleration that is measured by an accelerometer. Also, a monocular camera can provide us with feature measurements. The equation on the slide represents an angular velocity measurement, omega m, and an accelerometer measurement, am, where n omega and n a denote unknown noise. So here we see the feature measurements expressed in the vehicle's body frame, where yi denotes the ice landmark measurement, pi denotes the ice landmark observation, and ni denotes noise associated with the measurements of yi. Let the estimate of x be as shown here. And let us also define the error between x and x hat as follows. Finally, let us define the following elements in the context of available vector measurements. It is necessary to assume that the number of non-collinear landmarks available for observation and the measurements is greater than or equal to 3. Now let's move to the navigation stochastic observer design. On this slide, you can see the nonlinear stochastic navigation observer in a compact form. And here is the same nonlinear stochastic navigation observer, but in detail form. Now let's discuss the theorem. Consider the true navigation stochastic dynamics. Let assumption 1 hold the true. And consider the proposed nonlinear navigation stochastic observer. This way, it becomes clear that all the signals in the closed loop are almost semi globally, uniformly, ultimately bounded in the mean square. Now let's turn to the stability proof. Given the following two potential functions, VA and VB, such that the total potential function is V, which is equal to VA plus VB. As a result, we arrive to the following inequality, where E2 combines orientation and position and velocity errors. Transforming the above inequality, we obtain the inequality shown blue. This shows that the expected value of the differential form of the potential function is less than or equal to negative 1, multiplied by a positive constant, that is eta 1, multiplied by the potential function, plus a constant, that is eta 2. It becomes clear that the following inequality holds true, and therefore, the error vector, et, is almost semi-globally uniformly ultimately bounded in the mean square, which completes our proof. Although the observer is proposed in a continuous form, this slide shows the proposed stochastic observer in its discrete form. Now let's move to experimental validation. In order to validate the robustness of the proposed approach, we used the dataset in reference 1. And the dataset in reference 1 is supplemented with additive noise. And the estimate and the design parameters were defined as shown here. This figure shows a strong tracking capability in spite of uncertain measurements and large initialization error in attitude as well as position. It should be noted that the true position and the three axis orientation are marked in green, while the estimates are depicted in blue and red. This figure shows the convergence of the Euler angles demonstrating strong tracking capability of the proposed solution, where phi represents roll angle, Theta represents pitch angle, and Epsi represents yaw angle. 
In this figure, black refers to the true value, while red refers to the estimated value. This figure illustrates the convergence of the estimated position to the true positions in the x, y, z plane. Once again, black refers to the true value, while red refers to the estimate value. So here, as we can see, strong tracking capability of the estimated position to the true position. This figure demonstrates fast convergence of the error components, namely error in orientation, error in position, error in velocity, and error in gravity starting from large value to the closed neighborhood of the origin. In summary, this work addressed the problem of attitude, position, linear velocity, and the gravity estimation of a vehicle traveling with the six degrees of freedom. Nonlinear stochastic navigation observers on the Lee group of SE23 have been proposed. The proposed observers are guaranteed to be almost semi-globally uniformly ultimately bounded in the mean square. Experimental results reveal the robustness and the fast adaptability of the proposed approach for identification of the unknown poles, orientation and position, linear velocity, and the gravity of the vehicle. This concludes my presentation and thank you for your attention.